All right, everyone. So according to Giants owner John Mara, they're expected to retain head coach Brian Dayball and GM Joe Shane for next season. Now, you know, this I think is the smartest thing you could do. Okay, Joe Shane and Brian Dayball are slowly but surely building something very good, I think, in New York. You look at what they've done this season, okay, they've built a defensive line, right? This is a defensive line that is very good and is wrecking havoc on the league. The offensive line, I know Andrew Thomas just got hurt, but before his injury, this is the best the Giants offensive line has looked in years. Tyrone Tracy, the running back they drafted, looks special. And, you know, these are just two big or three big parts of the team. Then you go, they drafted Malik Neighbors. Malik Neighbors looks like he's going to be special. Now, what they choose to do with Daniel Jones, that's going to be up to them. But I think it would be short-sighted to fire either one of them, right? Because 2022, they made the playoffs. 2023 was really a wash year due to a lot of the injuries. And this season, they're one field goal kicker away from being three and four and right in the playoff hunt. I still don't think this is a team that's out of the playoff hunt. It's tough for me to say that this team has no shot when you look at there's no real dominant teams in the NFC when you have a defensive line like they do when they've played as well as they have against teams like the Seahawks and even the Commanders I think there's always a chance a path for them to get back especially because their division doesn't have like you know the dominant teams of the past the Eagles have looked less dominant although I know they just beat the Giants by a lot the Commanders look better than expected but they now have a Jaden Daniels injury and the Cowboys look pretty weak comparatively to the past few seasons. So I would never say it's over. Uh, but I do think it's smart that regardless of what happens this year, that they're able to continue coaching and being the GM of this team because I think there's a lot of good things going on, actually. I think the Daniel Jones conversation has kind of cast a shadow or a, a cloud over what's actually going on. And I think people, you know, if you take a second and look at what they've done, you'll see that this has been a pretty good you know, Dayball's a pretty good coach. I think Joe Shane's a good GM. I doesn't mean they're perfect, but firing them and resetting this thing when you're kind of making some pretty good, um, in my view at least, some pretty good strides, I think would be short-sighted. So thank you all for watching.